guys, what's up, what's up? I'm really excited to show you guys another 10 WhatsApp tips, tricks, and hacks. In my previous WhatsApp video, I told you guys if we got 5,000 likes, I would gladly do another one, and you guys smashed it. So here we are with more hacks. Also, stay until the end because I'm going to have some free WhatsApp downloadables for you guys. By the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. So guys, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys is some pretty epic customizing things you can do within WhatsApp. So if you have a picture up the top here, you can actually customize it quite a bit. So firstly, you can choose an emoji, pop it wherever you want, and then on the side here, you can see this color rainbow bar. You can actually change the color of the emoji, which is so cool. From there, you can also choose some other options. So like here, I chose this funny hand sign. You can change the skin tone as well. So I tried to match it a bit to mine. And then from there, guys, if you want, you can add a speech bubble. But what's really cool is if you actually rotate it with your hands, as you see me doing here, that little arrow piece changes to wherever you want. So I've just angled it to the mouth. Then once again, of course, you can change the border color. Now, if you want to add text, this is generally what it would look like. But if you actually click on that color bar, hold down and drag, just as you see me doing here, you'll see the font changes for the text, which is so, so epic. And then you can just leave it like that or again, change the font, change the color and really make it your own. You can also do all these customizing options when posting in your status. What's awesome about this hack is you can also customize GIFs, guys. So I just clicked on the text icon, added some text, subscribe. And then as I mentioned, hold down and then swipe to the left, the font changes. So you can really make it your own, do something funny like this and then send it to whoever you want and they'll have no idea how you customize this GIF. While we are on the topic of customizing, there are still some more things you can do. So say for example, you have a plain palette and you click on this pencil icon, you can of course change the colors, but if you click and drag, you can change the thickness of the pencil. So this is really awesome to once again, make things your own. So I decided to make a little drawing. I used a much thicker line. Then I decided to go for a small line, create these dots. The options are honestly endless. And also if you use a stylus guys with this, you'll have so much fun because you can do a lot more intricate things and you can not only customize just plain backgrounds but also images videos or gifs as well now this is a fun one guys if you click on the emoji icon on the left hand side there and then on the stickers icon you'll actually have a couple of stickers but if you click on the plus sign you can add some more which is so epic you can also scroll down to the bottom, say get more stickers and then choose from a whole bunch of other ones. So I found these WhatsApp mean stickers. They are absolutely hilarious guys. And if you click on install, it'll start installing the stickers, then just select open. And now you can actually add these various stickers to your WhatsApp. So I liked this pack. I selected add to WhatsApp and now they will automatically be added to my WhatsApp. So as you can see right over here, I have some new sticker icons and these are all the stickers I downloaded. They are absolutely hilarious guys. And if you click on them, they will send straight away just like any other sticker. So check this out guys, because you will make your friends lol when you send these stickers. Something I recently discovered on WhatsApp, and it's so obvious guys, is if you click and hold down on the record button, usually you chat, right? But if you see here, there is actually a little lock icon and it also says slide to cancel. So instead of just holding down and recording your voice note, then letting go, what you can do is click on the record button and swipe up. It will now automatically continue to record your voice note until you are ready to just hit that send button. What you can also do is rather say cancel. And then as you see here, it'll delete that voice note. Another way you can also delete a voice note is if you are clicking and holding down and then decide you don't like it, you can just swipe to the left and it'll cancel that voice note. So I got asked this one a lot in my previous video. If you want your status to be private guys, click on those three dots in the top right hand corner, then select status privacy. And literally just like that, you can select for all your contacts to see your status, all your contacts except a couple people or only with the people you select. 
read receipts. Now, as you guys know, when you type out a message and send it to someone, when they receive the message, there's usually two gray ticks. And then once they've read the message, those ticks usually turn blue. So now if you don't want someone to see that you've read their message, what you do is click on those three dots in the top right hand corner, head on over to settings, then account. And from account, you're gonna click on privacy. Once in privacy, you will see this little area where you can toggle off read receipts. So now people will not know when you've read their message. However, you will not be able to see when they've read your message. So as you can see, uh, you've sent it, but the text will remain gray because you've toggled off the setting. So now when you are chatting with someone, they will not be able to see when you have read their message. Capiche? Okay, now this one is pretty simple. Let me know in the comments if you already know this one, but when you are say chatting to someone or chatting in a group, what you can actually do to quickly respond to older messages, for example, this one is swipe right over it and it'll instantly create a reply window. It's such a quick, easy way to respond to messages, not only instantly, but also ones that were sent ages ago. So this is really cool, because if you're having two conversations within the same group, you can literally swipe right to reply to that exact message. How nifty is that? While we are on the topic of group chats, you can also personally reply to someone from within a group chat. So here, for example, is a message I want to respond to outside of the group. So if I click and hold down, then select those three dots in the top right hand corner. Here you will see reply privately. If I select that, I'll be able to reply directly to the person who sent that message within the group. Another quick tip is hiding when you were last seen. So this usually pops up to show when you were last on WhatsApp. But if you want, you can click on these three dots in the top right hand corner, head on over to settings. From there, go to account and under account, select privacy. Once in privacy, you'll be able to just click on last seen and then decide who can see when you were last on WhatsApp. So guys, Everybody knows you can change the wallpapers in WhatsApp. If you click those three dots and select wallpaper, from here you can decide to either go for a solid color. So I just went through the solid color options. I thought this peach one looked pretty cool. I set it as the background and yeah, it looks nice. WhatsApp also has a bunch of other ones available for you. If you click on WhatsApp library, there are these backgrounds, but to be honest guys, I was less than impressed with these. And usually what most people do is select a picture of a loved one or maybe flowers or a picture they've taken and select that as their wallpaper. But I decided, nay, that's not good enough. So if you head over to my new Squarespace website, hailsworld.com and go to the WhatsApp downloads page, the bam, I have made you guys some free WhatsApp wallpapers for you to download. So feel more than welcome to go check them out, guys. Download them. I'm sure there'll be something that you like. And I'm just so excited about these. I'm so excited about my new Squarespace website. If you want to build a website or an online store, then definitely make it with Squarespace, guys, because they've got some beautiful designer templates. I used a template for my website and was super surprised at how easy it was to build a website because of their all-in-one platform. It's super simple to set up or transfer your domain onto Squarespace because they have award-winning 24-7 customer support. And also, if you want an online store, you can manage your products and orders easily. So guys, make it with Squarespace. And that is it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section which was your favorite tip, trick, or hack. And also, you can check out my other WhatsApp videos right over here. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!